state television company Westerner Media represents the most important events of these days. Today's broadcast, 10th anniversary of the government of Western Armenia, whatever means left in Shoshi, 1915, Western Armenia, memorial service for the Armenian merchants in Isfahan, U.S. State Department denying accusations on Washington's involvement in cold attempt of Turkey, sites of Western Armenia, the ancient city of Mardin, Armenian intangible cultural heritage in UNESCO's Living Heritage Periodical. Western Armenia declaration contained in all ratification documents involved on or after May 9, 2016. The Republic of Western Armenia declares that it is ready to ratify all the conventions, all the sessional additional protocols. Meanwhile, mentions that it is not responsible for the application of the provisions of the protocols in the territories occupied by the Republic of Turkey until the liberation of its occupied territories, the complete elimination of its consequences. On December 29, 1917, the Republic of Western Armenia was recognized by the decree of Russia, then in fact on January 19, 1920, and was de jure recognized by the Supreme Council of Allied Adjacent Powers on May 11, 1920. It was recognized by Turkey on August 10, 1920, with the official border, which was decided by the arbitral decision of President Woodrow Wilson on November 22, 1920. The Republic of Western Armenia will not cooperate with the Republic of Turkey in the framework of relevant conventions and protocols until the end of the occupation and the complete elimination of its consequences, as well as the settlement of the genocide committed on its territory since December 18, 1917. We present you the article published by Sputnik Armenia Agency. Did Artsakh Ishkhan Melik Shah Nazar think that his union with Panah Ali, the leader of the Turkish-speaking tribe of Jivanshirs, who later became Khan, would lead to Shushi becoming a symbol of the Armenian-Azerbaijani confrontation? What is about the long-suffering Armenian city? The Armenian districts of Shushi were located in the upper central part of the city. The upper part of Shushi Plecha began to be built in 1805 when the Karabakh Hanate joined Russia. At that time, Shushi was one of the largest cities in Transcaucasus. The Armenian part occupied 65% of the whole area of Shushi and was divided into 18 districts, Megretsots, Aguletsots, Ghazanchetsots in Centra. They were in good condition, that part was often called Little Paris. Most of the houses were made of white stone with red tiled roofs, carved balconies, arches and columns. The European style of urban construction was widespread among Armenians. The full version of the article is available in the following link. In her film, Nelly Garibian presents the chronicle of the life of Armenians who migrated to Eastern Armenia from different provinces of Western Armenia. The film presents the population of seven complete and one independent state, Maras region of Western Armenia, the size of the area, the cultural and economic life. It is mentioned how many Armenians lived before the genocide and how many remained after the genocide and deportation in different states. Referring to the Yarbekir, the historian mentions that it suffered the biggest blow during the genocide being in the central part. Very few were able to escape the genocide by living for other parts of Yerevan and Eastern Armenia. From 1878 to 1880, when Kharbert was established as a separate province, it was annexed to non-Armenian provinces, mostly inhabited by Kurds. This was a special policy so that Armenians would not have a majority in every province of Western Armenia. The historian represents Sebastia, which stood out with the largest Armenian population. The film is available at the following link. A commemoration ceremony of the Armenian marches was held at the Armenian Cemetery in Isfahan on the occasion of the 42nd anniversary of the victory of the Islamic Revolution in Iran, as reported by Armen Press, ISNA agency reports. The primate and clergy of the Armenian Diocese of Isfahan, members of the families of the marches, and members of the Armenian community attended the commemoration ceremony. Those present praised the selflessness and sacrifice of the marches. The U.S. State Department has denied the accusations of the Turkish Interior Minister of Washington's involvement in the COP attempt in July 2016. According to the State Department statement, the United States had no involvement in the 2016 attempt COP in Turkey and promptly condemned it. Recent assertions to the contrary made by senior Turkish officials are wholly false. The State Department added such remarks and other unfounded and irresponsible claims of U.S. responsibility for events in Turkey are inconsistent with Turkey's status as a NATO ally and strategic partner of the United States. The ancient city of Mardin, Western Armenia, is one of the most important places to visit. Many buildings built in this city, attracting attention with their architectural details and beauty, differ from other structures typical only of Mardin. 
If you want to see the architectural and cultural heritage of our ancestors from ancient times, then it is time to visit Mardin. The halls called Abara, built on the historic streets with an arched alley, attract the attention of local and foreign tourists. The number of arched alleys was 106 but has reached 57. There is another alley from 3 to 5 meters below each. This serves as a transition from a district to another. The length of the alleys is from 5 to 25 meters. Their height is mainly from 1.5 to 5 meters. In the past, these alleys facilitated the movement of ancestors. We must protect these unique structures as they present the culture and they cannot be lost. Articles on the preservation of the Armenian intangible cultural heritage have been included in the 2021 Living Heritage Periodical of the Regional Center for Intangible Cultural Heritage of Southeastern Europe, sponsored by UNESCO. The articles present the variety of the Armenian intangible cultural heritage, the unique manifestations that stand out in that framework, as well as reviews of the activities of the Comitas Museum Institute and the Hovanes Tumania Museum. The article about the Armenian Theatre of Shadows refers to the history and current developments of that type of folk theatre. An interesting article on the Armenian alphabet presents the Armenian letters with my pen, educational program of Gafeshan Arts Centre. Now I present you Nare Yar and Khorotik Manan by Maratuk Ensemble. The full version is available on the official website of Western Armenia TV. This was all for today. Goodbye.